it's hard to believe that 2021 has gone by and we are in 2022. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Cherry. This year, don't let the fear of what could happen make nothing happen. Be fearless, be productive, believe in God and believe in yourself. Just yesterday, people were celebrating. We were celebrating Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Yes, the calendar has changed from 2021 to 2022. The numbers have changed. but. Have you really changed your life? What has really changed in your life? That you can say, I'm starting, I'm beginning a new life. It would be pointless to say Happy New Year when you're still a fonketa, a doubter, a gospel, a cheater, a thief. And how do you expect to see good things and new things if you yourself, you are not changed? If you yourself, you haven't changed, then there's nothing to celebrate about this 2022. Change should begin within ourselves. Then we can see the change, the blessings of God in this year, 2022. I know 2021 had a lot of drama. We had COVID, we lost our loved ones, friends, we lost workmates, life, was hard. You had a lot of things that you said, you had goals, you had a lot of things that you wanted to achieve. We could not achieve the things that we wanted to achieve. Maybe you achieved 40%, 70%. Some maybe they had achieved enough this year. Set those goals again and strike again. But this time, strike with God. Let God be the leader in your life. Let God be in front of whatever you want to achieve in your life. Give him space. Let him come and take full control of your life, of your business, your workplace. Whatever that you want help, God is there to help you. We are in the first week of 2022. I urge you, stop all those old habits that you used to do in 2021. Then you will enjoy and you will see the change, the blessings that 2022 has for you. If you don't change and repaint your old sinful ways, you won't see the blessings of God in this year. You will be going around, around the same circle over and over. So if you want to enjoy and see the blessings of the Lord in this year, repent, surrender your life to Christ, call Jesus in your life, and you will see the hand of God working upon your life.